Hey guys, it's The Big Outside, MTB again. And in today's video, I wanted to break down my thoughts on the Continental Cryptol tires. So I wanted to break this video into five parts. Specs, rolling speed, cornering, performance in certain conditions, and overall value. Let's get into it. So I've been running these tires for about six months now and I pretty much only have positive things to say about these. So I guess we'll get into the first subject which is specifications. So I am running the Continental Cryptol front and rear. They are front and rear spe uh, specific. So the front is their uh, front version and then the rear is the rear version. Uh, the front is a lot like an Asagai and the rear is a lot like a DHR2. But don't leave the video yet because they are totally different tires. But when it comes to tread pattern, um, they seem most similar to those uh, that are in the, the Maxxis category. And I'm running downhill casing front and rear with a super soft compound in the front and a soft compound in the rear. The reason I'm running a softer compound in the front and then the rear is because the rear tends to skin and wear way faster than the front. So you, and you tend to also want more traction on the front than you do on the rear. So that's my reasoning for going with a more soft compound in the front opposed to the harder compound in the rear. And I am running 2.4 front and rear. I'm pretty sure that's all they sell when it comes to the tires. I'll put a correction on the screen if they do end up selling like 2.6 or a 2.5. Okay, so we'll get into the next subject, which is rolling speed. So this is where these tires started to really stand out from the uh, my old Maxxis setup, which was a Asagai on the front and a DHR2 in the rear. I had Max Terra in the rear and then I had uh, max grip up front. So very similar compounds to what I'm running in the, the Continental setup, where it's basically a softer in the front and a harder in the rear. So where these stood out uh, from the Maxxis Asagai and the DHR2 was that I instantly noticed on the, even just the climbs, how much faster these tires roll. Given I did run Cushcore before when I was running the Maxxis uh, tires front and rear, because I was riding a lighter casing. So I also wanted that extra protection with the lighter casing. So in this case, I went with downhill casing so I could ditch that blah -de blah blah We'll keep moving on. But that's not really what's going to affect how these tires roll. It's going to be the tread pattern and how they're just set up in general. So with these tires, I instantly noticed on the climbs that it was so much easier to climb. And I'm not even joking. I felt like I was able to do about one more lap than I would have with the Maxxis setup. And then it comes to the rolling speed on the descents. These tires performed really well with rolling speed on the downhill. I felt like I could carry way more speed through uh, flowier trails that are a little bit flatter. These tires just felt so much better in that category. So I give this a big thumbs up for rolling speed. And then now we are going to get into the cornering performance. These tires, I didn't notice a huge difference in cornering um, uh, from the Maxxis Asagai and the DHR2. But what we were just talking about before with the rolling speed, it was just like getting that extra uh, speed out of the tire without even having uh, worse per, uh, cornering performance. So I would say these are about identical in cornering performance to an Asagai in the front and a DHR2 in the rear. So now we're going to talk about traction. These tires, I did notice a minor improvement on traction. I'm running the same pressures as I did in my last tires and these seem to hook up a, a bit faster. I wouldn't say it's drastic, but it's definitely an improvement over my old Maxxis setup. So I also give that a big thumbs up to the Continentals. Now we're going to move on on how they perform in different conditions. Given I haven't really gotten that much time to try these out in wetter conditions, um, I've only had a time on these riding a lot of dry conditions, and then I've also tried some Hero Dirt conditions. So um, I'll just start talking about how they do in dry conditions. These things are amazing in the dry. They, t they hook up super well. Um, I, again, you, when I was talking about traction before, they hook up better than my old Maxxis setup and they also roll faster. So that's her hitting two birds with one stone there. So I would say these are amazing in dry conditions 
And then I'll dip a little bit into how they performed in Hero Dirt. I, Hero Dirt is going to always hook up even if it's a pretty bad tire. Hero Dirt uh, just tends to work really well with any tire. But um, I didn't notice a huge major improvement over last year's setup with the Maxxis in the Hero Dirt. Um, but that's just because Hero Dirt just hooks up so well. So most tires hook up very well in that, those conditions. So again, these are awesome, but not a huge improvement in the Hero Dirt aspect of it. Lastly, but certainly not least, value of these tires. These tires are pretty close to the competition with Maxxis. Maxxis tires are about 120 for a set. These are almost identical to that. Again, you can find deals on this stuff, but they're pretty much identical. But as I was saying in the video, the, pro, the pros outweigh the cons um, with these tires. So I, in my opinion, these are quite a bit better than the Maxxis tires. They roll faster, my wheels feel lighter, even though I'm running downhill casing. So overall, I think the value is amazing and I, these tires are just so good, I'm going to continue to use them and then when these wear out, I will absolutely be getting another set of these tires. And I wouldn't even mind trying some of their other tires, but the, these, the Cryptol seemed to fit my riding style the best. So that's pretty much a wrap. These tires are amazing and I would highly recommend trying them out, and especially if you're running Maxxis. Just try them out. So what urged me to try these tires out was because I screwed up the casing on my DHR2. Basically, if you guys aren't aware of this, uh, it's called Maxxis Wobble. And I'll throw up a couple of clips because I've had this happen more than once. And it's just so annoying. It looks like your wheel is super out of true. And it just bugs me. I found this as an opportunity to try something new. And there's been a ton of hype on the Continentals and then especially the Cryptol model. And so I decided to jump the gun and I'm so glad I tried this out because these things are way more tough. I'm, I'm just having the best experience that you could with these tires. I even took these to a place that I, I was not familiar with, never ridden before and as my first ride and I was still impressed. And then I go to the local trails and it felt amazing. So. Yeah, I guess I'll stop rambling um, about these tires. I think, I, I think I've given you guys the point. But if you guys have any questions or anything that I left out in this video, please leave a comment down below. I reply to almost all my comments. I will try my hardest to be able to answer your questions down in the comments below. And then if you guys did like this video, uh, please consider subscribing. And remember guys, full send or no send.